Good morning, I'm Susan Abraham. And I'm a landscape designer and my practice focuses on um, what I'd call restorative landscape landscapes. Um, and here this morning we're at my um, home garden in Waterford, Virginia. And we're gonna start out talking sort of about the structure of the garden and the principles that I tried to employ um, to create this garden. And you'll take a nice little shot of, or take a little look at the before when we purchased this. It was a typical um, HOA home with builder plants. You know, the, the, that accounting for plants that are required in a new home. So you'll see that. And then let's, uh, hopefully you'll see a contrast of what it is today. So today we're looking at my front um, woodland garden here and a couple of things here when we first lived here I felt very exposed so I knew we were going to um, build a garden where I could have some privacy also the house um, sits on a southwest the main bedrooms and some of the rooms look directly west southwest so you can imagine how hot it is when you don't have some plants so one of the principles here or one of the program um, elements was to cool the house so this garden I think um, I tried to achieve some you know the three R's here of reduce reuse and recycle an environment but I also tried to employ some um, or encourage some environmental um, processes that are really beneficial beneficial to us and by building habitat here, we get the benefit of cooling the air, cooling the soil, slowing down the water, filtering the water. Um, and of course, I'm hoping you see the aesthetic um, reasoning for that as well. So here in the front, um, really what, what we need to do in our, all our little forest remnants is close the forest. We have a lot of remnants that are open and that's how we get a lot of invasives just running through. So if you can close your forest, and that's what I've attempted here, um, you're gonna have a very different environment. Now you can walk in here and see it. You, you can you know, scope it out from the street a little bit. So there's some views outside, but really I'm trying to cool this environment here. Um, some of the plants here, I'll also call this, this garden, it's been here for 17 years now. It's been growing for 17 years taking time to get where it is now. Um, really, we call this the lab. So a lot of these plants, when I first started my practice here in uh, Northern Virginia, coming from Southern California, um, was a real challenge for me to understand. So a lot of these plants would be brought into my garden, see how they work. Sometimes they were moved around, sometimes they failed, but many of them thrive here. And they may not be specifically in their um, ecological community or area but they really the function was to build this garden to achieve some privacy and cool the, the environment but also to find out well how do these plants um, you know what is their what is their habit or, or how do they um, perform and what if they're on the edge of their true community or area they live and so I've learned a lot of things about that um, and so you'll see some plants here that maybe aren't specific to this Piedmont region, but to the Northern Virginia region, you can find them. Maybe they're a little bit more on the coastal plain, a little bit on the mountains, but you'll see in the Piedmont, many of those plants were sort of the, you know, were the uh, crossroads for many of those plants. So I would encourage you to try some of them and uh, see what they do for you and your environment. So 